understand that you've got a little ghost story for us today. Yeah, I try and save these up for this programme. I did one set in Paris. True, uh, kind mm. of true story, true sort of uh, sighting uh, last time I was here. And this is one that happened a few years ago where we live in Cornwall. Now, Cornwall is a land of ghosts. It's a land of legend, you know. Yeah. Um, and a lot of it you take with a pinch of salt. But just occasionally something bubbles up that might just have something to it. And the little lane that we live in that leads down to a little rocky cove uh, has been known for, oh, generations as, as Headless Horseman's Gallop. There's meant to be a headless horseman that gallops up and down the lane, at, usually at times of trouble. Obviously, it's nonsense. But I remember about three years ago, I went for a walk, and there's another lane that's parallel to the one that's, that's said to be haunted uh, that goes up into some woods. Uh, it's very narrow, and it's not very well made up. It's pretty much ruined. And it was a, it was a, a spring afternoon, and it was starting to get dark, and I was walking up the lane, and I could hear the very brisk clip-clop, clip-clop of a horse coming down the hill towards me. So I stepped up against the high bank, you know, to let yeah. it pass. As it got closer and closer and closer, and then it, I was sure it was about to appear around a, a little bend. And it didn't. And the clip-clopping suddenly stopped. So I walked up to the bend to look, and there was nothing there, and there was no way that... It, there was no gateway or exit of any mm. kind, and it was really odd, and I felt quite spooked. So I went back to our house, and about an hour later, a friend of ours, who, who's been born and bred there, came around for a cup of tea. And I told her about this. And she said, which lane was this? And I said, well, not the one that's meant to be haunted. I said, it was the one... And she said, no, no, no. A lot of people make that mistake. That's the haunted lane. Oh, really? That's where the headless horseman is reputed to ride. And I don't know. I mean, it's obviously basically nonsense. But you do occasionally have these experiences that you can't quite explain. Mm. And I don't know what that sound was or mm. where that horse got to. Mm. Is it... Is it better to be accepting and to say, yeah, it could be, it's possible, so what's the problem? Well, the or should we try and always rationalise it? The journalist things? in me wants to rationalise it. I mean, there has to be a rational explanation for that. I have to say the sound was very, very loud and very clear and very present, and there was absolutely nothing to, to justify it. There was nothing I could see that justified what I heard. Mm. And then, of course, you put the layer on afterwards that, oh, well, that's actually the haunted lane, and you start... Your imagination sort of takes fire. Mm. I don't know. I th you're probably right. It's probably best to go with the flow. Yeah. Yeah, I think so, unless it gets nasty. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there we are. Well done.